Hello, my dear champions, my dear achievers. How are you? Welcome to our one of the most ambitious session, if I would say, till now, right? The science mini series, science project, right? How excited are you? First of all, I'm sorry, we are two minutes late. I understand because you know the thing which are about which we are about to do today. You know, it takes a little bit of technical settlement and everything, so that's why it, it took us some time. But yes, we are here. I'm good. How is everyone? I can see the first time I'm seeing like 9th, 10th and 6th, 7th, 8th students all together. Nice. Hello, Rajesh, Kyaneshwar, Girija from 6th, 7th, 8th, Anshi, uh, Deepti, Gungun, Keshri, Harvis, Chitra, Krishna. Nice. See, I can just keep on taking all these names. But you know what? I'm really happy to see all of you here because this is the first time we are trying such a thing at least with, with light and something. Because last time we tried something, we, we had those uh, incense sticks and everything, right? So today, we'll make what? Come on, think, think. Achha, ask, answer me one thing. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Hello, hello. How many of you are excited first of all? Just tell me this. So, two things you need to tell me. Am I clearly audible and visible? And yes, Chitra says super excited. Very good. Hi, hi. Nice. Nice. So first of all, can we just give a huge shout out to summertime, right? This is summertime and this is our summer science project. Summer mini series, whatever you call, want to call it. But the thing is, we have a little spare time. And that's why we want what? This one quote we have mentioned before, right? You learn like a student, but you think like a scientist. And that's exactly why we are here today. We are here to think like a scientist. You have learned as a student, right? I'm going to help you how to think like a scientist, all right? So, today we are here to make a DIY projector at home. How many of you saw the short we uploaded on the channel? Good afternoon, good afternoon. Deepesh. So, I just saw this comment, but one thing I just want to make clear, I might forget taking a lot of names, that's why, because, you know, we have the, we have the whole crowd of 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10 together. But, my intent is, I want you to enjoy this session. Learn, and you know what, think like a scientist. How to apply science in real life. That's the motto, and that's what we want to take forward after this session, alright? Nice. I can see a lot of people saw that shot. Nice, very good, very good. Nice. So, Let's make some science, right? Let's make some stuff, let's make some stuff work and let's start thinking like a scientist. So, to help you do this, we are here. This break recreate the summer goodness right here at Baiju's and that's why we have these three things. Science project, level up and explorers club. At least for other subjects, we have had these sessions. For physics, we have had explorers club, right? For 6th, 7th, 8th, we had that. Now, science project is today. And this is, uh, I would say, in, in, in marriages, there's a function called as, you know, shadi is a big function. Hota na. So this is the shadi function. So assume this, today is the most important function that we have. This is the most important day which we have at least for this summer mini series in physics. Let's enjoy it and let's make a projector which works, right? All right, let's start building a projector. Dilip Kumar, today we'll make a slide projector. I just want to make you very clear today. Today we'll start with basics, right? Mobile projector is something which we can make, but you know what, let's start with basics. Once the basics are clear, then you can make a building which is as long as possible. That's okay, but the foundation needs to be strong. So that's why today let's start with basics and then we'll move on to mobile projector. Some other day. Slide projector is the theme, all right? So let's see. This is the only thing we wanted, huh? Nice. So let's move forward and let's go and make a projector. I want to make some rearrangements in the session, in the, in the, in the background and everything, but just give me, give me one second, all right? So, I'm going to switch over here. Nice. This is where we'll work. This is the Karam Bhumi, all right? This is where you will build the projector, all right? So, what all materials do we need? Let's think, first of all. In the short, see, I have given you a hint in the short at least what all materials you need. So that's why I'm hoping that thermocol, nice. DIY is do it yourself, nice, nice Toshani. Materials, all right, let's start with materials. The first material that I want you to take is, oh, it's a little far, just let him, give me one second. 
you need a thermocol sheet. See, it's a big thermocol sheet. You can see over here, right? So in the top angle, it's covering the whole screen. It's okay. The background is white now. So this is the thermocol sheet we'll use. Fine. Okay. And it's pretty easy to find thermocol sheet. Just go to any stationery shop near you and you will get this. It's, it's quite easy, right? Nice. <laughs> you guys are telling me way ahead what all materials do we need, Andi chal liye kya? Koi baat nahi. Andi ke baad le lo samaan. It's okay. Let's start, right? So, thermocol sheet. Next thing, uh, I would say a scale would be good, right? A scale would be good because you want to mark some things. You need pen, marker. I would say take a sketch pen and this is quite handy, right? So, uh, in the school life, I would say till class 10th. This was with me, 11, 12, we got so lazy, you know, whenever you buy these things, they get lost. So that's why after uh, 10th, I stopped buying these things. But yeah, huh, till 10th, I had this uh, sketch pen set with me. So this is important. Muhammad, Hindi, English, but it's a difference. You won't miss anything. The important thing is you won't miss anything. Okay, it's a English, right? In future, it will be helpful for us. Hindi, we have to come here. We can discuss, right? So that's why. What we need is a sketch pen set. Important. We should have it, I would say. Right? Nice. Uh, 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 concave lens. I won't say concave lens. Currently, I would say, see, you get this kind of uh, uh, lens, right? We call it sometimes a magnifying lens. And if you if you go to a stationery shop, you will find it for sure. And if it's a small stationery shop, you might not find it. But at least you will get such a thing. And you know what we do with this, huh? Right? You know what we do with this. Magnifying glass. Nice. A nice, simple looking magnifying glass. This one looks very beautiful actually, you know. Looks very antique. -y. Yes, hand lens, magnifying glass. Koi dikkat nahi, hai na? Nice. Okay, people are asking my name. So people who don't know my name, my name is Saurabh. And my business is physics. Alright. So, next. The light source will have a torch. Nice, a torch and I want you to please keep noting down these things because you know uh, after the session we normally tend to miss these small small points right so just keep on uh, these things with you. Now to cut things you need a cutter. So there's one warning I want to give you here whenever you are using this now these are quite sharp these cutters are quite sharp see when when we used to do this uh, uh, crafting work in our school time no. The thing which hurt us the most was these cutters because you are trying to cut something, you slip and then you, you know, hurt your finger or something. So be very careful and I would say take help of elders while using these cutters, alright? This is very important. Total cost, beta, uh, I would say, you know, it's not that, uh, this is like 70 rupees, scale to hota ghar mein, pen you get, torches we all have. This is something which you can get for around uh, 100, 150, 1, uh, 200 around. So depending on size of the lens, no, you will get these. Not a problem. But just ask for a simple magnifying glass. It's not like so fancy looking, but you can get normal black colored. So it's okay. You know? It's not that expensive. But yeah, for science project, it's a good thing to show off at school, I'm telling you. Right? So once you have done this, next I would say take a paper tape. So this paper tape is optional. It's just a convenient way, you know, to uh, put down all those slides. Nice. Your grandpa has uh, have magnifying glass. Very good. <laughs> Janvi, huh? that's that's a bad thing. Checking the sharpness and cut your finger, huh? that's not a good thing. Size of thermocol, see, your thermocol comes in a free size. When you go and you want a thermocol sheet, no, you will ask and they will give you a thermocol sheet. And I would say the thickness is this much, right? So this is what a 1.5 or 2 inch, 1.5 inch thickness thermocol sheet. Just get a thermocol sheet, you will get one and that will be enough. Fine. Okay, okay. I think so. We are here clear. Uh, till here, we are clear. Everyone. All right. Next, one more thing that is helpful for you is you don't know what I've done over there. It's pretty messy. So this is a transparent polythene or A4 sheet which I want you to use because this is where your slides will be created, right? So this is something which is also very very easily available at the stationery shop and. Uh, it's pretty cheap also, like 5 rupees, oh, right? Replace magnifying glass, no Nitish. It is a essential component of your slide projector. So magnifying glass is very important. And if I tell you, 
the one which we are making now, this is the most basic projector. When you go to advanced projectors, you have more than one lenses. So that's why I'm saying magnifying glass, too, there is no, no chance that you can replace this. Because if you make a magnifying glass of your own no, with plastic or water or doing some jugar things, it won't look good. Second, it won't work well. So that's why I would say this is very important. So please make sure we need to buy this. There is no, no second option in this. Okay? Like, it's okay. Take. Cardboard, Aradhya, you can use. Yes. You can use. And you know, guys, take. I just one disclaimer to all of you. See, whatever I'm telling you now, listen, learn, and then modify it as per your choice. I'm saying thermocol, it's okay. If cardboard is available to you, use it. If Amazon boxes are available to you, use that. See, I want you to be creative. And that's why we are here. See, when I'm saying, when I'm saying things like a scientist, no. Do you think scientists have everything well built around them? They do a lot of time jugard only. They have the concept with them, but they do a lot of jugards. So that's why I'm saying, think, be creative with the stuff that you want. I'm just telling you, lens, torch, uh, scale, pen, and this transparent sheet. These three are very important. And a thermocol. Thermocol, you can use cardboard also, not a problem. Right? Nice. No, 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 no. Bulb you can't use Kanika in this, instead of magnifying glass. All right. So, with this knowledge, let's start building a projector. Fine. So, I'll just keep all the things uh, to the side. So, no bulb instead of, huh? Yeah, yeah. Taha. Uh, We'll make it fast. Specs, no. See, specs, may, there's a problem. Na? It's not like uniform, uniform. And it's not a magnifying glass. So there is a reason we want magnifying glass. All right, all right. So let's see. First thing is you want to create the base, right? You want to create the base of your projector. So I would say choose a width, first of all, right? If, I, if, if you think. around I would say 10 centimeters or let's say for safer side no let's do this thing yes so this is around uh, 6 to 24 so 18 centimeters width I have taken right and with this draw a line I don't know how many, how many of you are trying to make it along with me right now. I don't think a lot of people are doing it because it's okay. Glass is not very handy. So all right, just make lines, make lines, then use a cutter. And you know what, you need to cut this thing. So I'm not gonna cut because you know what, I don't want to waste your time plus my time. So that's why I have I have things which are already ready. And that's why I'm giving you an idea, cut these things and while cutting, there's just one thing. While cutting now, please be careful. You should not, you should use it directly once, right? If you do this again and again, you know what you will end up doing? You will end up, uh, losing a lot of thermocol bits and pieces, you know, it'll start crumbling. So I would say be very clean with the cut you want to make. Go ahead, one cut. So this is how you make a very clean cut, right? Take care. Yes. Oh, nice. Art monster, you are making it. All right, so how to cut, I've explained it to you. Now let me just get a piece which is already ready. Yes. Fine. So this is the one which is already cut. Nice. So she not necessarily, right? Don't worry, we'll discuss about this. Mine are concave. Can someone tell me what defect I'm suffering with? It's okay, don't, don't digress. Nice, cu done cutting? All right, all right. Now, whatever is the left portion, right? The portion which is remaining, the one which is cut off, take that portion and cut pieces like this one piece right these two pieces these two are same all right these two and this one fine so if you notice 
these two pieces are same and these two pieces are almost same okay length and breadth yes see length and breadth if you ask me it will depend on what kind of a torch you have because what you are trying to make here you are trying to make the torch holder right so it will depend on first of all what torch you have but i would say keep whatever length you are choosing that's fine whatever length what is you, you are choosing that is fine it's just make sure that it is in line right it is in line of the torch so that's why that is important take this and this is around 19 and this one is around 14 and a half right why sir this is 19 because you will be making a groove in this you will make a groove in this that's why okay so next once you have these two things with you what i want is i want you to first of all take your torch right take your torch and see make a mark like this right you make a mark like this why because you want grooves where torch can be held properly fine this is one second one again i'll take this and i'll make a mark again so you have these two marks yes then what i want you is i want you to cut these i want you to cut these from these marks so that you have a groove now what groove you want grooves like this if you see right so why do we have these two grooves so that when i want to fix these two see i'll stick it using a thermocol i'll stick it uh, sorry using a fevicol i'll stick it and this is where my torch will go and you want to make sure the torch is fitting perfectly over this right second thermocol taha was fine no every time when i marked it i used a torch to make the mark that's why right and when you cut these two grooves will be there and you will see that your torch is held properly over them so this is what you want fine so test this thing separately is it fine is it okay is it balancing that is important fine till here is it clear to everyone yes Five mm magnifying lens. I would say five mm. You know, if you're telling me its focal length is five mm, it's very very small. Okay, so normally magnifying lens five mm, it's very small. I would say go for a little little uh, thinner. Five mm is very small. So I would say ten centimeters, twenty centimeters is is good enough. Okay, till here is it clear? nice yes everyone very good very good so you have got and you have made the holders of your torch fine so now what i'll do is i'll use thermocol sorry not thermocol i'll use fevicol is it coming yes you'll use fevicol to stick your stand See, this is I'm doing for the first time only for you because you need to understand. Then you will let it dry, okay? Because it takes time to dry out. So that's why you will do this, then you will let it dry. Okay. Next thing, what you want is you want the slide, right? You want a place where the slide can be put. Fine. So what do you need? You actually need. you need a square so how to cut a square i would say what you can do is whenever you had this thermocol na? whenever you had this thermocol just for the safer side choose this thing choose your transparent sheet and and just think all right i'll need around this big 
and it's it's definitely your choice i would say leave some space on the side why because you don't this is thermocol it's not that sturdy so that's why i want you to leave some space right so that's why mark you mark it like this and cut this portion so this portion will become your place where slide will come okay right right side front angle is not required here top angle is the important thing so what i have done is i have done marking like this and it's completely your choice i would say depending on the size the length you have cut i am just saying leave some space on the sides so that it's a little strong that's why so you need to cut these things and when you cut this no you will get something like this right getting it you will get something like this and this is where your slide will come now based on this you need to cut your transparent sheet also so i here i have marked something so that's why i'll take from this side and you know what i'll say use scissors for this when you are trying to cut this transparent sheet cut this transparent sheet let me just show it to you how much this much you cut it this much okay yeah you can use scale for the square nidhi what is focal length is magnifying glass it's which lens i won't answer it to you but focal length is what see light rays after when the parallel light rays fall on the mirror they get refracted and after refraction they bend and when they bend they either meet at a point right that is the focus or they appear to meet at a point that is also the focus so two types of lens are there don't worry we'll talk about this in just a while so fine you cut this thing and when you cut it i would want you to draw some things on it see it depends on you i want you to be creative here and when you draw something what is this can someone tell me what is this is it is it a like button or is it a dislike button what is this oh nice hypermetropia huh? very good ha uh, so that's so this is me telling you like all right so you can be creative see you can use you can draw this thing or you can draw or you can draw a dia if you want and just be creative whatever you want to do right just be creative and you know what i have a lot of small small things this is a 6 but if you put it like this it becomes a 9 right yeah you can draw byju's logo also here i have a kid if you look at this one here i have a kid but what happens if i turn it upside down so he is a sad smiley right he is a kid who is sad this one is a happy kid all right you can just be creative see i tried to be creative i'm not that creative but i'm hoping you are more creative than me right so that's why you can do better things than this you can use afterwards also yeah yes anupam definitely i love that shashank you need to understand what is a projector that projects something right so it's a slide projector and yes there are huge implications if you i'll tell you about the history of this thing also and it's quite important okay so you can just be creative with all these things now why i have stick a paper here i'll tell you see if this is your slide projector or if this is your uh, place holder for slide what i want is i want you to keep it like this and stick the tape here why i'm doing this because once you have done this once you have done this what you can do is you have a free movement of the slide you can just place the slide like this okay so that's why i'm saying you can use this other way is you can cut the thermocol in between and place it but you know what i tested it and it's better if you use it like this fine nice all right all right so this is what what uh, you have got 
Now, what you can do is, you need a base for this because once you have a base, na, you can move it forward and backward and that will be important. So, what I'm saying, once you have got this thing made and you have stick it, I want you to take a cardboard piece and stick this thing over that so that you can move it front and back, right? Nice. Right? It's very simple. Nice, Janvi. It's a very good question. Sir, why are we why are we sticking it inverted? That's a very good question. Sir, why not straight? Why inverted? And you know what? That's why I'm saying. Once you learn like a student, you think like a scientist. You have learned concepts of, of lenses, little bit at least, and then I'll explain it to you why. Okay? So just for now, believe or trust me that. I'm just doing it inverted. You also do it inverted. Don't worry. I'll tell it to you. You know that, right? I'll, I will. So, fine. You stick it on a base. That is important. And you can use again a thermocol to do it. Right? You can use a thermocol to stick and just do it. And let it dry. So, till here it is fine. Okay. Oh, it's not stick properly, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll do it. Alright. Next is... Next is the lens. That is also important, right? Next is the lens. Let's say you have this. Now what I want is take the lens, take the pen and create an outline of the lens. Right? You create an outline of the lens. And make sure that it is such that it can stand, alright? So, that is important. Once you have created the outline, I want you to cut this whole thing, right? Oh yeah, Gyaneshwar. I, I think uh, I am repeatedly saying thermocol to fabricol. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, magnifying glass would invert image. Nice, nice. We have people who have thought this through. Nice. So, cut this thing and then place the lens over it. You need to fix your lens, right? And once you have fixed your lens, you need to, you need to place it in the, in the starting and stick it again, right? So that's what I've done. And, and that's why, once you do all these things, let me just show it to you. Oh, the torch is about to fall. The thing which will come out will look like this. Alright. So till here, I would say it's, it's quite simple. You know? It's quite simple. It's not that difficult. You will see, this is the lens which I have stuck. And what I did was, this was detachable. Right? For, for, my, uh, for my magnifying glass, these things were detachable. So that's why what I did was, I removed it and then stick it. So you can do any of the things. Fine. It's not a, it's not a, a very big issue. Thank you, Ganeshwar. Right? Okay. Now, let me just clear out all these things so that we can understand it properly. Because, you know, craft to work, uh, it's good. It just takes a little time. You need patience while you are doing all the crafting work because you might try something, it might work, sometimes it might not work. So that's why I would say whenever you are doing the crafting work, na, the one thing which I have learned a lot is you need to be very patient. Okay, now let me show you. This is my setup. You will see this is my torch holder. This is the magnifying glass and all the slides we already have. What else do we need? We need our slide placeholder, right? That's true. Yes, this is my slide placeholder, you see. Okay, now what I'll do is, I'll take the slide, right, the slide which we had, and I'll keep it. Or, <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. All right. So my slide is also kept. Now this is the part where you will need a little bit of hit and trial. Sir, what do you mean by hit and trial? See, when you fix your projector, right? When you fix your projector, you need to turn the torch on. Yeah, right? You need to turn the torch on and just keep the slide like this because you know it creates a little dramatic effect and that's important because this setup has been used in history to create a lot of drama. I'll tell you all the history, don't worry. All right, this is the time to test your projector guys. This is where the fruit comes out, right? You have planted the tree, now you want the fruit and this is the time to get the fruit, all right? So this is the most important time to test your projector, okay? Ready? Now, I, the reason I'm telling you that you need a little bit of hidden trial is and for this, first of all, uh, can someone close the lights, the, the uh, back lights? So, see, I'll turn the lights off. It's gonna get scarier, but that's fine, right? Can you see me? It's okay if you can't see me. So this is our screen. Just wait a second. So this is your screen. You can see it's, it's getting bigger, smaller, that's fine. Let's put the slide. When I put the slide, do you see it's blurred, right? It is blurred. Okay, okay. Let's do something. What do you see now? This is a magnified image, right? Which type of screen? You can use a thermocol uh, sheet also. You need something white, that's better. And you know what? I can do a lot of things. I can go back, make it bigger. You can come forward, make it smaller. So that's why. You need to play around with your slide placeholder and your screen. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just playing around with the slide placeholder and the screen. You need to focus it. You'll get a sharp image. Can you guys see the sharp image, right? I'll come closer to you. Can you see a sharp image? Huh? Yes. So she is not blurred. So for me, it is sharp. Maybe, maybe a little bit you are seeing it in the, in the blurred thing. If you look, it's a, it's a sharp image, right? All right, all right. So this was the dia. I can play around with other things also. It's okay if I'm not visible to you right now. What important is the setup is visible to you, right? Okay. Now let's see about the kid. What do you see? He's a sad kid, huh? So just notice, notice something. What I have done here is, this kid right now in front of you is a happy kid. I don't know how many of you can see it. He is a happy kid, right? A smiling face. But when I put a smiling face in front of this, what do you see? What do you see? He's a sad kid and wait, I'll turn the lights off. Right? So one thing is some is that you have already understood from here is it is making an inverted image. Watch.
So it is making an inverted image. That is for sure. And I can play around with as, as many slides as I want. See, this was the first was the uh, then if I tell you this is 6, right? If you see this is 6. Now if I put 6 on this and wait, I'll just do another, another adjustment. If I put 6 here, what you see is you see an inverted 9, right? Right? Yes. And the last one, like one of my favorites, is the like. So this here is, this is a dislike if you see, right? It's a dislike. Watch. It's a dislike right now. But when I keep it inverted, means in the dislike position. So once I keep it, it's a magnifying lens in the dislike position. What do you see? This is a like. Yes. Can all of you give me like smileys? Come on. This is what we want here. So one thing is pretty sure we are getting a inverted image, right? Inverted magnified image. That's important. And this is your slide projector. Now, there is something which you can do. You can modify it and make even better things. Right? So this is what we learned today. How to make a slide projector. But you know what? The story is not finished. This setup, I'll modify it right here, right now, in just within 10 minutes. Right? Maximum 10 minutes. Give me some time. I'll modify it and then we'll understand how to make it better, right? Yeah, don't worry Prashant, I'm going to do it again. So, till here, it's clear how we have built. Thank you, Palak. It's for you guys, really. right? So let's understand what we learned here, right? See. Yes. And you know what, I'll keep this setup here for now. I'll keep it like this. So that it's there in front of you, maybe. Or let's just keep it like this. Yeah, it's okay. Fine. All right, all right. Let's understand now, how did it work? All right, all right. See, guys, see, you have made the projector. Now it's time to understand. One thing is sure, we understood that it was creating an inverted image. It was creating a magnified image, right? So that's why when you go ahead, this is your homemade slide projector. You know, we call it a slide projector. What we used, we used a magnifying glass, we used a picture, we used a slide and we used a torch. And you know what, hold on. I'm going to make the setup even better in the end. Don't worry. Just hold on for a second, right? First, understand the concept and then apply it and make it better, right? So let's understand. First of all, very quickly, this is a homemade projector. Nice. What is special about the magnifying glass? Can you guys tell me which lens is this? Some of you told me this, but I haven't, you know, replied back those, those uh, comments. Someone, someone. Magnifying glass is which lens? It's a lens, that is definite, right? It's a lens. Which lens? Nice! Convex lens. Gun -gun, I, I just saw your comment. Sujata, I'll, I'll do it, do, definitely. I'm coming back. Within 5-7 minutes, I'm coming back with this setup. Convex, nice, nice. So magnifying glass is a convex lens. Convex lens, what is a convex lens? 
right? This is what we do with magnifying glass. We use it to see enlarged images, right? So that's that's pretty sure. We use it to see enlarged images. Now, in convex lens, this this magnifying glass thing is a particular position, right? It's a special case of a convex lens. This is the special case. See, maybe you know these things, maybe you don't, but right now understand. See, in a lens, there is a focus, there is a center of curvature, or I would say there is there is 2F, we call it normally, not center of curvature, because in mirror, we call it center of curvature. In lens, usually we end up saying 2F. So this is F2 and 2F2, right? So when you place the object between the focus and the optical center, in, in mirrors, you call it pole, here you call it optical center, that's okay, right? So between focus and, and, and the pole or optical center, when you keep the object, you see a erect, magnified, and a virtual image. So this is about magnifying glass, right? Yeah, 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 you can. So this is about magnifying glass. This is a virtual, erect, and enlarged image. But what did we get? But what did we get? Think, come on. Achha, answer one more thing. Can we obtain a virtual image on screen? Jiveshwar, what is a convex lens if you are asking me? It's a piece of glass looking like this, right? It's a piece of glass looking like this. I don't know if I have it here. Yes. So when you'll buy a, a magnifying lens, now you will see that the glass is thick at the middle and thin at the corners, right? So this is a convex lens, fine. Okay, so can't, yes, yes, I can see can't, 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 yeah, virtual image, mirror ke andar, what is the image you have inside mirror, a virtual image, right, so you can't obtain virtual images on the screen, same thing is here, it's a virtual erect and magnified image, you can't obtain it on the screen, but if you notice, in our projector, we used a screen, means that image is not virtual, that image is real, right, that was a real image. That was not a virtual image. Nice, Chanvi. Very good. Nice. Good. 6th, 7th, 8th students are giving good answers. Huh? Guys, 10th, 9th, 10th. I know you, you know, you know this. You have a chapter of light and we are, we are learning that chapter. Right? Correct? Yes, real images can be obtained on screen. The magnifying glass convex lens when you used what are characters of image we get using the projector? See, this thing is something we have already learned. It was a real image. It was an inverted image. And it was an enlarged image. Because if you see, the slides you are using, they are this much only, na? small, small slides, chota chota diagrams, small, small diagrams, right? But when on the screen you are seeing them, they are big. Means this is enlarged also, right? Correct? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, I remember you. Yes? Correct, Chitra. You cannot obtain virtual on the screen. So that's why these are three properties of the image. Fine. Guess the position of the object to guess this image. Now this is my question. I, I'm, I'm sure that all of you might not be able to answer this question. But still, I'm expecting some of you will know the answer. What is the position of object when you are getting this image? Focus guys, focus. 9, 10 students, 6, 7, 8 are giving better answers here. I can see. Position. And I'm expecting class 9, 10 students to answer this better. Come on. Yeah, Janvi, your comment is visible. And ni nice, your answers are good. Yes. No, no, pseudo focus. Nahi. Nice, between F and 2F. Haan, this is where class 10th has got, got, got a little lead. Huh? Correct, Kriti. Prish no, 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 Prashant, that's not correct. F into F, Harsh, yes, yes. No Pratiksha, not close to magnifying glass. So, listen, listen. See, all of you might not be aware of this, but understand, yes, I can see between F and 2F. See, in lens, in future you might study this, but some of you might know this already. So, this is, this is the case which is happening. This is your object, okay? You are keeping it, and then what you are getting is, you are getting a inverted image and a magnified image. So what we are doing, if I tell you, what we are doing, we are keeping an inverted object, 
and we are getting an erect image. This is what we are doing. You are keeping an inverted object so that you will get an erect image. You get a straight image the way you want to see it. And it is between F and 2F. The closer you bring the object to F, right? The closer, and th this is important, right? I tell this in English, in the English and Hindi both. Just notice. The closer you bring the object to the focus, the more enlarged image becomes and it, be it goes far and far from 2F, right? So the closer you bring the object to the focus, image becomes bigger and farther from the lens. Getting this point, Anna? Yes? Yeah, yeah. You know these things. You know these things at least. That's important. So, what, what do we have? Most important case, it is between F and 2F. And that's how you are getting a real image, an inverted image and an enlarged image, right? So this is important. And you know what? I told you, this is something which looks very simple today. But back in 17th century, when it was discovered, it was a major breakthrough. Can someone tell me, when it was invented, when it was invented, what possible use could it be used for? And they used to call it magic lantern. I want you to guess. And a very successful, very simple project. But back in 17th century, when they started using it, can someone guess what did they use it for? Yes, yes, any, any candle, okay. Tejasvini says candle. Santosh, it's okay. I'm telling you. Oh, nice, Prashansa. It's a good guess. Glass, films. Yeah, Ravel, you are, you are almost there. But you know what? I'm not expecting the answer which I'm about to tell you. Because when I read this, I was also amazed. They used this magic lantern or they used to call it Lanterna Magica. They used it to scare people. You know, scare people. Ah, that scare. So back then, the church was a big, uh, you know, uh, they were a huge area and they were, they were a huge, I would say, organization in itself. So they used these lanterns or Lanterna Magica to show people the small pictures of devil. You know, the devil. If you don't do good deeds, this is the place where you are going to meet this kind of a thing. They, they use this uh, this lantern or magic or magic lantern they, to show scary images. Scary images of devil, of Satan and all these things. So this was the initial use of lantern or magic. And the inventor, like most probably, uh, this was Christian Huygens in 11th class, uh, you, when, you, when you study wave optics, you'll, heard, you'll hear this name again for Huygens principle. Christian Huygens is considered to be the inventor of magic lantern. He was so, what do I say, he was so frustrated with this. He thought this invention is not of any use. And the time when he was about to p uh, present this invention to King, he thought, it's a waste. What should I do with this? And he did not do it. So this is one of the reasons that, yes, very famous. So that's why they used it to make small, small photographs bigger. They used back then glass slides. See, right now we have these transparent A4 uh, polythene sheet. Back then they used glass slides. And this is what they used it for, to scare people. Can you imagine? Our very own slide projector being used to scare people back then. And that's why. This was an infamous kind of uh, uh, setup, if I would say. Even the inventor, Christian Huygens, was not proud of it. But later, he did not imagine what this came to be. It became one of the most successful inventions ever. And one of the reasons is, someone, someone gave this answer in the, in the very chat. Films. So this is the magic lantern which looked like. And these are the images which... So these are... The proper images which they used to show people that this is where you are going. If you don't do good deeds, if you do this thing, this thing, this thing, then you will go and you know meet meet Satan and devil. And slowly, slowly, they started motion pictures, and that's where this setup became revolutionary. Can someone tell me what is the persistence of vision for human eye? Pradeeksha, it's around 16 
1610. So we call it early 17th century. 1610 or 1625, I am not very sure. Ha! So Arikanti has a good question. Everyone, just listen. Arikanti is asking, can we use dia instead of torchlight? So back then, when people used, na, they used to use oil lamps and everything. But the problem with oil lamps is, see, torch is very focused. If you see, torch is very focused. Diyas and oil lamps, they don't give you that good illuminescence, right? They don't give you that good illuminated light. So image you will get, but will be very faint. So that's why torches are good, right? Yes? Got motion, huh? motion picture. One sixteenth, nice, I can see. Class 9, 10 students have given this answer very quickly. One sixteenth of a second, right? True. Yes, yes, yes. One sixteenth of a second, which means if you change the picture in front of your eyes within one sixteenth of a second, your eye won't be able to notice the change, right? Your eye need one sixteenth of a second to understand, oh, it's a change, right? There is an image which stays on the retina for one sixteenth of a second. So, and that's how the motion pictures came into being, right? And do you remember, nowadays we have these digital films and everything, but back then they had this big uh, a film and they used to rotate the projector and they used to in 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 uh, bombay in mumbai they used to use uh, films like this right so motion pictures came into being this is what we call as motion picture it's a flip book it's a flip book and i'm sure all of you you might have seen this flip book right on separate pages you have different different images but when you turn them very quickly you see one image doing all the dancing and everything same thing is with motion pictures, right? These are all being used because, because your eye has a tendency that for one sixteenth of a second, one image stays there. But if you change it before that, it's not able to perceive the difference. And that's why you see the eye thinks, oh, it's a nice movie going on. And that's how movies were created. Small, 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 small films. And you run them very quickly, right? So you can also do that kind of thing. And that is the modification which I'm about to do. So before the modification, explore other applications of lenses, telescope, microscope, spectacles, more, and all these things. But let's see. Let's try and do that small modification. To do that, see, I have created one more small thing. It's not, it's not very difficult. So what I had, what I did was the thermocol which you had now. In that, if you see, I have made holes so that so that this uh, and one sheet I have created it can go inside this right so this is again I'm just showing it to you I'll put this sheet inside it nice so I'll put this sheet inside it and watch so again let's it's time to bring the setup back because this is the small modification that we are doing let's see here is our setup all right this is our setup again i'll remove this one now Yes. So for people who missed this thing before, and what you do is you pull it from one side. And that's how they used motion pictures, right? That's how they use motion pictures. Right? So right here, I had option of only creating three images and that's why I have done only three images. But if you notice, from one side, if I take the next image and the next image. So that's how motion pictures were created. They had this reel 
and which they used to turn it very quickly and that's how the, you were able to see movies and not you actually you are a new generation when we started i mean in back 90s so yeah these were there yeah yeah nayan we can so this was our today's project this was our slide projector and there are much more modifications which you can do you can also make a mobile screen projector which we'll try don't worry we'll try in future and that's why i would say this is for both of you this is for my champions and my achievers guys you know that you are there and we have got you covered right so that's why keep following us and because the science project level up in explorers club for physics we are done with explorers club and science project but you know what level up is still there so in the in the in the comment section i can also ask you what do you want in level up just just put your comments and we'll see which one wins whose suggestion we take participate in the in these exciting mini series on our academic channels right nice and there is a trial class in the description please try it and last and not the least like share and subscribe see our whole intent is again this thing i have said multiple times to make you learn like students but then to enable you to think like scientist i want you to try this i want you to make modifications to it i want you to show me something which is amazing you know i should also think later oh i showed this much but you brought back this much theek hai ये होना नाइस ऑल राइट ओ श्रुति यस आई सॉ योर क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव टोल्ड दिस टू माई टीम प्लीज एक्टिफाई दिस स्मॉल थिंग एंड यस ऑन अ टेलीग्राम चैनल यू विल गेट द फॉर्म लिंक डोंट वरी गाइज ठीक है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर योर फीडबैक्स यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर योर इमेजेस एंड वीडियोज यूल गेट द फॉर्म लिंक ऑन द टेलीग्राम चैनल दिस आई मेक श्योर यस ऑल राइट ऑल राइट गाइज थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड आई होप you enjoy this summer mini series and i hope you enjoy your summer holidays try this and let me know how you did it what challenges you felt and that's again what i'm looking forward to see all right thank you for joining everyone bye bye take care